Another Richard spin here in our free to play account. And yes, you know what we're gonna do. We're going to spin for Richard and we're going to get that 10 um, spins in here and get this five extra sculpture of Richard. Now, when you're doing this as a free to play, it is really essential that you get that minimum rewards in here, that extra rewards. So, so recently with our previous spin in this account, we actually got eight Richard sculpture. Isn't that absolutely insane? Take a look at our current Richard now. It has two, two levels on the first skill. I'm super excited to get it maxed out because it's challenging as a free to play to get a lot of gems to spin for the Wheel of Fortune. My name is Shinchi42. If you guys like Rise of Kingdoms content and really want to get updated with this free to play account, consider subscribing and turn your notification on. just released nft and these are digital artworks that you can own basically you're going to own a small piece of the content creator building a partnership with the content creator here by owning these nft and by buying this nft you're supporting me as a content creator instead of think about this buying merch or buying nft nft has a potential resell value right so i highly recommend that you guys check this out just look at it Right, And if you do purchase this by supporting me as a content creator, like people do it as membership, as a as, you know super chat donation. But by doing this, you're owning a piece of property of Shinchi42. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold a session with you and me as you purchase it. No matter what price you purchase, we're gonna hold a session here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one session. We can even have a lunch session or a dinner session. But you let me know. So if you do purchase this, let me know in Discord. So uh, hit me up on Discord and let's have a session. I'm very excited. All right, so we're gonna spin this. I've got my gems, I'm ready. I've got my you know discount here. We're gonna use our discount first. We're not gonna do no skip animation here today. So let's see if we're gonna get lucky once again since our previous you know video when we got really lucky on this free to play account and I wanna be able to make Richard 5511. And I hope this is going to be the opportunity to do it. Let's see. Imagine if we get a bunch of eights consecutively or getting, oh my God, why did you give me resources? I truly, truly, truly need Richard Sculpture. All right. Let's spin for five times in here. And I'm going to, oh, that is so close. I'm going to update you guys with what's going on with the account as well. I might go over past 10 spins. I'm kind of feeling a little bit generous and feeling a little bit unlucky, unfortunately. So we got some one Richard sculpture, definitely not worth it because we're looking for Richard sculpture, but we still got some decent amount for the value of gem. You can see we got some speed ups in here that is really good. That is going to help us with the progression of getting T4. So we need to, well, we make, we can go over three spins in here. Let's do five more spins in here. We got 55,000 gems. I think we can afford that today. Let's see if we're gonna get, come on, Lord. Lord, please. Ah, oh, come on. Please give me eight or at least one Richard sculpture. Ah, oh, unfortunately we've burned through our luck. No. All right, let's see where we're at. Um, we got five Richard sculpture. I don't really think that I should spin more for it. I'm trying to save my gems, but let's see. We can do a 3000 Richard. <laughs> All right. Let's upgrade Richard right there. All right. It's now three skill level, and it's still level 10. Kind of need to work on that. So here's an update on our progression. We're now in the City Hall 20, as you can see. We're, you know, trying to get 
to CT Hall 21. We've got about three days and 14 hours left. I could speed this up, but I'm not really going to do that. Um, and we also are working on to the economic technology. So big thing that I want to highlight for you guys, you know, as we're going to get into CH, you know, 21 and we're going to get into Academy 21, I'm starting to work more into the mathematics. By working on the mathematics, we can increase our research speed. Therefore, we're going to reduce the time needed to complete the research. So the next thing that we're going to be working towards to is really just trying to unlock, you know, unlock this um, T4 unit. So I need to increase my catatography next and I need to go to pathfinding and finish that to five. So that's going to be my next working in here after this, um, you know, research that I'm working on for the mathematics. And then we're going to try to get, I would say we're going to go for swordsman first. We're going to go for infantry first since we're going to be mainly infantry. We are going to do some civ change eventually. So we're not going to stay in China, but for now we are going to stick with China for the moment. Um, big advice that I want to give to you guys. If you guys are new players in here that are working towards to getting your tier four, work on your engineering, work on your mathematics. This will save you a lot of time in the game when you are making your progress on upgrading your uh, buildings and as well as upgrading your technology. Now, let's go and take a look in this account. So I want you guys to kind of look on what I have currently because I do hoard. So this is one of my specialty is hoarding materials hoarding resources, speed ups, and everything in here. So um, resources, as you can see, this is what I have right now. Not a lot, but it's still pretty decent for free to play. And the speed ups is absolutely amazing for a free to play. You can see I haven't really used a whole lot, but I mean, here's the thing, right? I'm a little bit more of a special case. I'm like 2.6 million power, which is very low compared to my other teammates in here, right? They're already 8 million, which is, um, you know, he has a free to play 12 inch PvP nest. Um, you can look uh, at his channel. He, uh, he also creates YouTube content as well as stream on Twitch. Um, you know, I, oh, actually, Barto de Roma 2.7. So I'm not that far, 2.6. Okay. So I don't feel so left out in here, right? There are some free to plays in here that are low power. Um, there are some moderate power now, but once I manage, once I manage to, um, to get my account to T4, I am going to exponentially increase my power because we're going to be using our speed ups to create and generate a lot of these T4 units. So I've been just hoarding, being patient. Right. Since this is a kingdom, you know, this is a jumper kingdom. So very, very different coming from a new brand new player. The jumper kingdoms is like you kind of know people and they let you in basic because you have uh, you know them. Basically, that's what, what it is. If you're just starting out fresh in the game, they don't know you. You don't know anybody. And it's harder to join an alliance that way. So with this, you know, I am able to stay here and maintain my power and just I need to power up. That's all I need to do. And what I'm going to do with this account, this account is going to be mainly for, you know, reinforcing rallies, joining defense, and we're going to capture the moments here in 2500. So this free to play account is a little bit special, right? Because we have, you know, connections, but for many of you guys, like you guys have seen, um, I'm not the only one who's like in this power range, like for Barto de Roma, right? And Toto de Roma, right? They're quite low power as well, like me, but they also have connections, right? They're contributing to the alliance and they know people in this alliance being a jumper project. So my advice for many players, if you're starting new, inquire what is jumping project. We actually have videos for it, or I call it jumpstart project. Join into Discord, find a group before you get started, because that way you will have a much better success than just by starting on your own. Now, if you're a spender and starting on your own, that's fine. You can always, you know, reach out to the established alliance and get into their Discord and get to know them so that you can actually remain in that alliance as well. But this is what we're doing here with this free to play account. So unfortunately, we didn't get super lucky onto the Richard, kind of gone wrong onto the Wheel of Fortune. But, you know, we're going to work on to that. Um, we are going to be doing some key opening eventually. Um, I don't know why I'm hoarding keys in here, but you know, I'm just going to wait a few more weeks um, and then we're going to open up some keys as well. So let me open this up in here with you guys. 
making sure. See, unfortunately, I want to get as much. I want to get about 100, I think, because I feel like when you have a stack in here, it actually gives you a lot better chance whenever you're opening it, you know, opening it all. So, or maybe I'll do a test, you know, opening it all versus not opening it all for a hundred each. Anyway, rockers, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys come back and see the progression here with our free to play account in 2500. I know majority of you guys are excited. I'm trying to grind as much as I can, and I'm trying to do the best of my ability to continue to progress with this account. Did I use buff today? I did not use any buff yet. So we're gonna use eight hour um, gathering and eight hour you know, usage in here. And that would allow me to get more resources production for the next eight hours. And make sure you do your daily because in here, you're going to get some epic sculpture, which I get three per day. Anyway, rockers, again, I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, sub, and turn your notification on.